When a human is hurt or burned, the parietal lobe in the brain recognizes the stimulus. The brain is an interconnecting web of neurons firing continuously. The neurons are made up of several parts. Dendrites receive impulses from other cells. The cell body and nucleus control the cell functions, while the axon carries impulses down the neuron. The myelin sheath coats and protects the axon, and the synaptic terminals transmit the impulses to the next nerve. Neurons transmit impulses down their axons. When an impulse reaches the axon, it starts the action potential. First, the sodium ions move into the cell to create a positive charge. This is called depolarization. Then, the potassium ions are sent out of the cell. This is called repolarization. Finally, the sodium-potassium pump takes three sodium ions and two potassium ions and transports them to their respective sides of the membrane. When this is done, the axon cannot transmit any more impulses for a few milliseconds. Once the impulse reaches the end of the axon, it must pass the synaptic gap, which is the tiny space in between two nerve cells. Neurotransmitters pick up the impulse and carry it across the synapse. The neurotransmitters are taken back by the presynaptic cell after the transmission by a process called reuptake. When this is finished, the entire process begins anew in the next nerve cell.